Hello YouTube, PPC's Matt here, and today I'm going to show you guys uh, some of the mods I did to my Evolve. I know I promised the build log in the last video, but actually I decided to split this video up, or the build log, up into three different parts. So I'm going to cover today how I did the vertical GPU mount with this new back plate or back wall panel, as well as how I ended up fitting two 360mm radiators in the Evolve which isn't always the easiest thing. It depends on your configuration, but for mine, I used uh, one of these X-Flows in the top, uh, Hardware Labs 360, and then uh, L-Series U-Flow in the front. Uh, I'll link all the products in the description below, and you can always find them, of course, on our website too. But it took a little bit of modding to get that done. I recreated the top panel, so you'll see all the mods that I did to that. It kind of ditches everything in the top panel. So it's a little bit extensive, but it's the way that I figured out would be basically the easiest and cleanest way to do it. But enough explaining, why don't I just show you guys how I did it all. Uh, so I'm just gonna roll the time lapse of it and I'll catch you afterwards.
as you guys saw, those are some extensive mods, but I hope I didn't leave, lose you all in them. Uh, the back wall here, I just used three millimeter acrylic and then just regular spray paint to paint it and uh, some vinyl stickers that I made for the logo of my old YouTube channel, actually. Uh, for the top, I just used five mil acrylic. Uh, I thought that would add more strength and rigidity to the top panel just because I kind of cut out everything up there. So I thought that might help out a little bit and in the end it really did work out. It's still pretty structurally sound. I mean, I didn't really alter the case in any way that uh, should have affected the, the structural rigidity of it too much. So if you guys care to, try out those mods. Um, if you need any help with them, feel free to comment below or you can hit us up on Discord. Uh, leave a link to that below. It's a great way to get in touch with me. I'm usually on there all day. So if you have any questions about mods or water cooling or anything related to PCs, hop on in there and hang out with us. There's lots of other friendly people in there too that are always willing to help. So coming up next, you guys are gonna see how I did the PSU shroud and the little uh, monitor mod in there that I did, uh, as well as the back wall panel, which is actually pretty simple. I think you guys get the gist of that anyways. But those are coming next, as well as me bending and filling the loop and all that stuff, everything related to the water cooling in this rig, will be coming up next. And I also just received today a Monsoon Pro bending kit from Hank, so I will be also doing a video on just bending with that kit itself, all the mandrels, and it com comes with uh, measuring tools and whatnot. So it's actually a pretty nice kit. I'm excited to use it. This weekend, I hope to just redo all the bends. I did all these by hand, as you saw in the vi or as you'll see in the video. And I think I can probably do a better job with the mandrels. I guess we'll see. I've never used them. But stay tuned for that. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. If you like this video, please hit that like button. And if you want to see more, like I've been talking about, just hit that subscribe. Other than that, though, I hope you all have a great day. And I'll see you next time.